In this video, you will see that sometimes just choosing the right card to trash can make or break your game in a mirror match. Alright, we have a mirror Sakazuki. This is a good chance for us to test our new build. Uh, not a good hand versus Sakazuki. We want to hoof. We want to have uh, Moria versus Sakazuki. So we won't be stopping until we get that Moria. A uh, Mago 8. Let's trash Rebecca. Uh, let's go for 8k. Ah, it sucks. We don't have Moria. And our hand is pretty bad. Not the idea hand for Sakazuki. Or for the mirror. I'll take one, draw one. Ooh, Borsalino. I can bottom this one and then attack. Interesting. One, two. Yeah, I think we can go for this play. Ooh. Use that one and then Murakumo. Go for eight. Ultra Shoof. Ultra sh I think I should trash Verko. Okay, so we're gonna trash uh, Kuzan. I ah, sorry, Borsalino next turn. We're still looking for a Moria or a Borsalino 7. So this one uses Kuzan 4. I don't really use this Kuzan 4 anymore due to its uh, slowness. You have to make it attack and it has to survive. Uh, it's not that good in the in the current meta where there's a lot of removals. Yellow has a lot of triggers. Uh, black, of course, has uh, multiple cost reduction. Any black uses multiple co uh, cost reduction and Luchi. So it's really hard to keep him alive. That's why I really don't don't use it anymore. So what? Uh, I can go for Murakumo here if I go Ice Age, but I don't want to do that. Mm. I can go for uh, take five. Do we want? Sure, take five. Trash one. Uh, Hina. I can play Hina minus Sabo. Or yeah, I can play Hina. It's minus four. Do, do we want Murakumo or it's better to go for Hound Lace? At this point, it's better to go Hound Lace, right? To... Six. Go for five. Minus one. Then... Still no Moria. Interesting. Interesting that I still don't have a Moria. Also interesting that he hasn't played a single removal yet. Okay, six. Oh, he has more than one Sabo. Oh, that's that's weird. He got more than one sabo, so he might have a Moria now. Okay, so we can. Ooh, he went for that play. Okay, so I can go for Moria. So that's gonna be minus five. What? <laughs> it's it's <laughs> what I'm seeing is super weird now. What I'm really seeing is super weird now. Okay, Hound Blaze. He'll go for 5. I'll, I can take that one. I can process Moria. Attack for 5 minus Moria. Then I can go... Well, I'll actually attack first. We'll be at 9. So that's 4, 5, 6, 7. So 
5. Actually, I can bottom this too. With Murakumo. So, yeah, that's... He got Luchi on the play there. Ah, oh, he doesn't have any cost reduction. Okay. Alright, so... Hmm. <laughs> Do we... Did we pull the trigger here? Do we pull the trigger? That's gonna be discard four. Ah, oh, man, that's rough for him. Let's process Moria first. I can go for so that's gonna be s one, two, four, six, one, two, four, five. Yeah, I can go for I think I'll I, I might just go for it's five six that's gonna be two that's gonna be one Five six, yeah, that's gonna be multiple five k in the face. Oh, so that's gonna be one two four. Ah, uh, let's. Now I'll I'll play Borsalion instead. I'll play Borsalion instead. So that's one five. So six, then Murakumo. Okay. It's four, eight. Ah, I. Oh. Okay. So that's six minus two. Murakumo. Do we play a blocker? Or, yeah, let's play a blocker here. The Shigi, I'd want a 2k counter. A lot of 2k counters went to the bottom. And, too, it doesn't have any removal. <laughs> Okay, so sadly we didn't pull the trigger on our new build. Uh, but yeah, uh, we won against uh, uh, we went Morialis against someone who got Moria. I'm quite surprised or quite bewildered in the first uh, rounds of his processing of the board or first initial moves. Uh, there are a lot of confusing uh, move that he did, uh, which is not that efficient. So he didn't quite process my. Uh, I think he went a lot with filtering. Like he played a lot of. Uh, uh, sorry, he played Sabo super early on, wherein Sabo doesn't have. Any purposes at all because looking at his cards he could have played Luchi in the early rounds maybe he doesn't have the Branu uh, so that he didn't fill the board second turn I would have trashed Borsalino I would have trashed these two to get because I think that he's not uh, filtering uh, his hand cards uh, let me see here. Draw, draw one, deploy. Uh, heat trash. Draw one, so that's a filter. I'm not sure if he's trash kusan sa kasuki draw one. I'm just reviewing what he did. If he is trashing a lot of cards, trashina, trash Rebecca, so that's draw two. Yeah, here. 
trash Branu. He could have played Branu actually. He could have just played Branu. So that's the problem with what he did. Uh, based on what I'm seeing here, uh, he trashed Branu instead of playing them. And then played for Sabo just to filter two. So, I mean, Sabo doesn't give you any cards per se. It's just a filter effect. So, if you have Branu, like for this one, he played Tashigi, he got Branu, and then he used Branu for filter instead of, I'm not sure if these cards are on his hand, but I would have trashed these two instead. Uh, again, if you are playing against a mirror, Borsalino is not that good. The reason is it's a four cost that can easily be reached by uh, uh, event cards. So you might not want to play Borsalino. So for this one, I only played Borsalino because I don't have any plays here. I do have Rebecca, but uh, I really don't have any other plays aside from Branu. I believe during those times, I don't have any cards that I can play. I think it was either Pudding. Or uh, Borsalino. Now, Pudding uh, cannot uh, attack. So I went for Borsalino not to be a blocker, but for to be for it to be an attacker. So yeah, those are the types of decision making that you might uh, want to keep in mind. Like for example, he got Branu, he, he, he trashed Branu, and then played uh, Sabo. So which is uh, weird. I could have played Branu and then go for multiple attacks instead. Uh, let's see. Uh, he knows I have Hound Blaze. Well, it's pretty obvious. It's it's easy. Deploy Gekumoria, draw Hound Blaze, Branu. Okay, trash two. Here in this turn, I can't. I didn't saw him filter so i think these two were kept i also think lucy was kept uh in a mirror matchup you'd want to trash lucy almost every time because uh lucy can be picked up by moria while you process the board with uh your event cards like murakumo or hound blaze so yeah i think uh, for my opponent, the only problem that he encountered was the decision making and trashing some of the cards. He kept those cards, which is not that really uh, usable, or I would say it's usable, but not that important in hand. Because you, you aside from Borsalino Seven, you can pick up almost everything from the trash. So I would have trash luchi one of the luchi here because i have murakumo i have two hound blaze i would have definitely trashed this two that that good against because borsalino 7 is only good if you're playing first it will be out of your uh, out of your uh, curve if uh, you're playing second because you'd want to keep repeating playing moria if you have moria so you'd want to trash this just to get uh, for a chance to get a moria i mean borsalino 7 I would have played it uh, as a last uh, resort uh, going on the latter rounds. So yeah, uh, I hope you learned something new playing a mirror matchup. This is RJ playing 1P trading card game. Peace out.